Welcome back guys. Today we are going to talk about structural steel. Uh, still talking about uh, structural drawings. And so we're going to be looking at the penthouse floor and low roof framing plan of this Hollabird Academy drawing. And let me uh, real quick let me explain the penthouse basically means a floor that's above the roof level. Um, you basically have two, you have a, a low roof level right here, what you can see, that area, that area, that area, but where you see that it says open here and there, this is all above the roof level, and so that's the penthouse framing that they're talking about. And so this would be for the gym area, it's right there, the cafeteria right here, and I uh, forget what's over there, but... It's probably something having to do with one of those areas. Anyway, that being said, we're, we're looking at only a certain area of the building, area A right there. And so I wanted to um, zoom in if I could. All right, we're going to be looking at this particular part of the building here where you have a lot of different notations going on that we will uh, talk about. And so... Um, this right here is the canopy framing, the framing for the canopy, and I have a picture of that to go along with our uh, video today, so that will be helpful. And then um, we're going to look at this low roof framing over here. It doesn't have any concrete poured on top of the structure. There's just a metal deck that's placed on top of this um, as the roof, so this isn't designed for people to walk on. Uh, but we'll look at a couple of these details here that cut right through the building and will show us uh, the connections there. And so uh, moving along, we'll also look at this low roof that does have concrete, uh, a layer of concrete poured on top of the structure uh, for the purposes of people to walk on. So that's an overview of what we're going to be looking at. I, like, I guess I like to do that in my videos. Um, so let's get into it. What we're looking at here, the notation um, says hollow, it says HSS, that means hollow structural steel. That's the kind of steel um, members that we're looking at here. And then they're labeled, the numbers after them are the dimensions and measurements, uh, lengths, widths, depths of each member. So the lines are just, um, you know, indicating those members there. So there's, there's those, and then you also have the posts. Those are the squares. The squares are the steel post. And so there's a connection there. You also notice these notations right here. These notations right there that you see there, those indicate the slope of this structure so just like the picture that I'll flash here you can kind of see that these reflect what you see you see the post here you see the several posts and then you see these steel members kind of the ribs of it and then there is a a deck that sits on top of it and the slopes are as indicated now the way that you tell um, how much they're sloping exactly uh, you'll look at these notations right here these are indicating the top of steel elevations and so uh, and that's going to be based off of your um, whatever your datum elevation whatever your floor elevation is is going to be adding on this plus you know so that's the elevation wise it's uh, it is 12 feet, two and three quarter inches to the top of steel right there. All right. And then you go down the line and these two pieces of steel are at the same elevation going along there horizontally. They're at the elevation of 11 feet, four and a half inches. And then going along the line, this loop goes up again, just as indicated right there. And it sits at 12 feet and seven inches so you can visualize that in the picture 
Um, but also now you can see how that's read out. So that is that piece of information right there. All right. So I said we were going to look at a couple of um, details. And um, I think we're going to pull up the second screen so that we can go to these details. All right. So now off to the side over here. We have the detail sheet S-5.2H pulled up and we're looking at right now detail E. All right, so looking at this detail, you can see this is the uh, the wall, the ICF wall, uh, six inch concrete core ICF wall. That's what we see right there. So that is that. And then you have the actual deck these joists and that's what you see right there that's that joist and then there's a four inch by four inch by quarter inch thick continuous steel angle that runs along uh the side it it, it i guess it runs along this whole thing um you could probably check each one of these along the line to make sure that that detail is in each one of them if not maybe it stops at a certain point but it does say here that this is a continuous angle so I'd assume that this angle sits along the whole side of that so that's an important note as well now that sums up that deck also want to move to this one that actually has uh, concrete and so if we go to S-5.1H and we're looking at detail A so cutting right across here, we can see that there is a layer of concrete that's poured on the deck. This is three inch concrete on a two inch thick deck. It also looks like there's some sort of a wire mesh or something indicated right there. One thing to note about the structure that is supporting the concrete here is it's a little heavier steel. The W indicates that it's a wide flange steel beam and that is designed to hold you know this type of concrete and support the rebar that's in it uh, this is five inches of concrete at the deepest point right there um, three inches there going back to the floor plan i did want to point out that that the steel that's indicated here is designed to support uh, only a certain weight so like this hollow structural steel here there's nothing but the canopy decking that it needs to support no people's weight but then when you jump over to this that is designed to support the weight of a person or equipment you have that deeper steel and then this area over here again um, not going to be designed to support people but there is a wide range that it needs to come across and so you'll have another type of steel indicated there so I just wanted to point that out when we're talking about steel here today. I plan on dropping other videos this week uh, that will go into more detail about maybe some things that I missed here. So stay tuned for those throughout the week. If you're subscribed, uh, thank you. If you're not, um, maybe you want to subscribe for more construction tips. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.